For my vocabulary lesson, um, for the QR codes, I decided to do a vocabulary lesson. In this vocabulary lesson, students will begin by getting um, being introduced to their weekly vocabulary word through a Wordle on the board to try to get them thinking and using prior knowledge and analyzing. From there, students are then going to use a example slide that I have created to complete finding the word definition, finding it using the word in the sentence, um, and then going ahead and for this week finding a synonym or antonym. It may vary from week to week. Once students have done this and created their PowerPoint presentation, um, during that time if they need any resources, I tend to notice that my students like to use resources online versus resources in the classroom at times. So I decided that on my resource wall I would create a QR codes link to every website that they might need and I've sent and attached those. So for example, there's a link for a dictionary, a thesaurus, there's a link for a YouTube video, there's a link for Google Images so that they can look up images. Once students have created the PowerPoint presentations, they will be shared out loud with the class. And then the uh, UQR Me will be posted on my door for when they come in every day, and I will attach a different vocabulary weekly slide for each day. So students will have the time to scan it and they'll get to revisit the word. In addition to this project, once students have completed that area, they're going to then use um, a QR code to try to attach either a Google image, a Yahoo video, or something that might relate to their word. So my word was ached. I attached a YouTube video to a QR code about um, somebody when they hurt themselves and they're aching. These would then be posted on the vocabulary words within the classroom so that if at any time students really needed to kind of couldn't figure out what the meaning of the word was maybe by the picture. They could look at another picture, another YouTube video, some sound. Um, during this time, I'd also try to have my students use QR voice to try to maybe record sentences that go along with their vocabulary word to just help with meaning and to help build this. I'm really excited about this because I think that a lot of times we just introduce these words without much follow-up for my ELL and for my ELL to get a hands-on experience with this as well as create a QR code and actually something authentic that they have to really do some research and some time to figure out what these words mean. I'm hoping that they will um, help them stick from week to week. Thanks.